What's your thoughts on 051 Kiddo getting out and like turning up? I don't want to talk. I don't know him. I don't know him. We say, what's up with him turning up? Yeah, like he he one of the new faces of Chicago. Like everybody talking about him, Tay Savage, FYBJ Man. What you want to know about him? If I don't know nothing about him, what you want to know? I'm just saying, what's your thoughts on like his success that he's seen? Because he, then he do like 10. There's a lot of people that like did like long bids and they coming out and like getting success like real, like. In a I ain't hating on manner. him. I ain't hating on him, homie. I don't see no success. I don't see what he's doing. Like that, that internet clout. That's a, that's what y'all consider success. Right. Like, I mean, well, he got big labels talking to him. Like somebody trying to do something with him. So you know, something I don't know. Yeah, he's got labels talking to him. It's die for viral moments, gang. Like I see it happening. Like I I ain't finna do nothing and try to go viral because it can go it can go left or right. You feel me? I ain't got no hating bone in my body to hate on them niggas. So I'm not trying to pay attention to his success. Like he's not nobody that I. Associate with like y'all probably know something I don't know. You get what I'm saying? Like if you got excuse me, if you got labels talking to him or, or whatever you got going on, he's doing something good. Maybe he need to keep doing what he's doing. You get what I'm saying? Like this is how people eat. They not gonna let nobody stop what they got going on if this gonna feed them. You get what I'm saying? If if, if he feel like dissing and trolling and doing what he's doing, gonna make him some money, gang. Let him do what he do. I'm not paying attention. To that. Like I don't give a fuck. like. It, it never been my business. You feel me? I told you I don't like talking about. It. I don't be on that type of time. I, I think people are just kind of shocked by him because you see somebody like Tay come home and he's pushing the peace thing or whatever. And with Kiddo, you're kind of seeing the total opposite where he came back after like eight years or ten years and he's just saying the craziest shit you could think of. I don't see why he being dumb anyway, gang. Mm. Why, why wouldn't you push peace and stand on top of your business if you're trying to get rich? That right. shit don't last so long when you're trying to go viral and doing all this dissing. The more it, it, it might be a goofy clip, you gang. You never know what I have in blood. Oh, if you miss being disrespectful. Why wouldn't you want to? If you plan on being something with yourself, if you want to build your character, go ahead and make something out of this. Shit. Why you doing all this this and this? Shit? Like what the fuck? like? You definitely ain't man. You, who you been hurt? What you talking like? What you want? You if you do hurt somebody and stand on top of the, what you act like you standing on, you finna get on the platform and this the picture you finna paint now. I'll just fuck the motherfucker up for thinking I was sweet because I can't own this. Like what you finna do? You finna build you finna build your character off that? Are I mean, you? This seems like the game plan for a lot of people. And where they end up. Mm -hmm. it's, it's I, I, with Chicago drill culture, all the people that you seen that was chasing that shit, what happened when they chased that shit? Right. They got them a bed with a brown box and a nice white sheet, don't they? You gotta be careful. Most definitely. But so you you said earlier that you feel some, some... I don't gotta diss the I don't gotta diss the uh build no characteristics, none of that shit, bro. Like I feel like I'm authentic enough for them for the fuck with me how I'm coming. If they don't like me, fuck them. You feel me? No, I respect it for sure. But you said earlier that you feel kind of guilty because you were someone who kind of made a lot of the, the gangster shit look cool at a certain point yeah, earlier yeah. in your life. That's when I was young and dumb. Yeah. I put my face and my name on a lot of shit that I could have avoided that shit. And I could have... I like being unpredictable now, bro. But it's like it's hard when... when well, I, I still could be unpredictable, but like a lot of people know me that I don't know. So I don't know if they got good or bad intentions when they approaching me. You feel me? So it's like I still gotta be on the gangster type of like timing. Like, I don't play. Like, I'll be if I see a nigga watching me too much, I don't know if he a fan or a op. I don't know if he's gonna make a phone call if he want an autograph. You get what I'm saying? Like, I wish I could have been a low key nigga and played my part and let them think what they wanna think. But I was chasing that shit when I was young. You get what I'm saying? Mm. But I did the shit when it wasn't cool. I've been doing this shit before niggas was doing this shit. So, like, I used to put my face on a lot of shit. I wanted the motherfucker know I'm coming. You feel me? Like, that's how I was coming, man. So, like, that shit played. Hell yeah, I, I, I feel guilty with a lot of shit that I didn't did because I know I could have did it better. Was there any. When the jail don't teach you how to how to not do shit, it teach you how to be a better criminal, to be was, honest with you. Was there any, like, incident in particular, though, that made you feel like, fuck, like, I, I was raised in this shit and I believed that this was, like, the most important thing to put, put out there in terms of how I represent myself, but at a certain point, maybe you just feel like, fuck, this was. It's not how I want to keep moving forward. It's not good for the community or your I people. I still don't even see, I still don't even look at it like, damn, like I'm dumb, I'm dumb, this shit, I'm tired of this shit to that point, that type of point. You get what I'm saying? Like, mm. it was a point of me living my life in the streets, bro. I ain't seen nothing but death in jail. It's like, I, it's like you, you know how you know what you signed up for? Like, yeah. so I appreciate the way that I move because it, 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 it showed me that I'm as, as, as advanced as I thought I was. You get what I'm saying? Like, a lot of these niggas be mad. Like, damn, this nigga ain't dead yet. This nigga ain't, ain't ain't gone for a lot of time. Yeah, you get what I'm saying? This shit hurt a lot of people, believe me or not, bro. Like, seeing me still doing me, I ain't like, that shit hurt. Rubbing niggas wrong. Because I, like I told you, I'm, I'm one of the last ones left with this drill culture for real, for real. So, like, I never looked at it like, damn, like, hell no, like, I'm tired of this shit. I don't want to go through this no more. Who don't want to move around and, and walk around 
in a park district with their kids and enjoy real life freedom without looking over their head. Who don't want to do that, gang? Like, that's why I told y'all. That's a lot of niggas that's acting like they don't want to push peace for the internet, bro, because it's niggas that got identity crisis. You know what identity crisis is, you mm -hmm. feel me? So niggas pride being a way to the point they want to be something to social media. You get what I'm saying? Instead of them just just, just, just grabbing their nuts, like, look, this is what we own. Like, it could happen, gang. We ain't saying that the war can't get turned off courses. A motherfucker gonna do some Lucian and snap or a motherfucker gonna wanna take their own nine and matter, but back then niggas was getting disciplined for shit. Y'all all know the yummy situation, you get what I'm saying? Mm. They sent Yummy to go do something, but was scared that he was too young to know what he did and he was gonna fold, so they got him out of the way before he folded. If a nigga doing something that's a breach, he should get disciplined for doing something that's a breach. If you jeopardizing me and what I got going on, I'm trying to feed the community, I'm trying to do good for everybody and their kids, you do something, you're gonna get dealt with accordingly, you get what I'm saying? Niggas don't got that type of Shit going on in their community because everybody want to be the boss, man. Yeah. Everybody want to be the big dog from their block. You know what I'm saying? I need everybody to check out NoJumber.com. We officially started a blog. It has in-depth articles about current events, music, etc. Plus all of our content in terms of podcasts, interviews, etc. And you can get some exclusive new merch if you check out NoJumber.com. So make sure you tap in.